Hey everyone, it is Thursday, November 30th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a great day so far, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. It's been a bit of a bittersweet day because uh, this job teaching that I've had for the last few years has been uh, just awesome, and I've really loved it, and it's just given me such amazing support for growing my musical goals and this aspect of my life and has given me a great platform to kind of jump off to where I'm going now full time and uh, now sort of over the last few days and next few days I'm, I'm winding my work there down pretty significantly and then stopping and I'm just reaching out to all the people I've worked with making sure that they know how to contact me if they need anything in the future and uh, also just letting them know um, that I, I want to support them you know and I just am so grateful for all the amazing students I've had and if you've ever taught anything you realize what a unique bond and uh, just incredible um, positivity is, is possible in, in student-teacher uh, interactions and uh, all my students have just been such amazing people and working with adults ha has been fantastic. Um, and I'm just so grateful and so appreciative and uh, it, it just takes time to wind that stuff down so I've, I've spent some couple hours on that today maybe about an hour the last hour so it's, it's already dark out but um, anyway I got a late start on the day got uh, deep into some of that technical stuff and they're also going through this big transition on the back end so all of that's happening all at once which has been a, just a lot more logistical stuff that I'm used to but Finally time to go to work on music. I got a solid probably, I don't know, five, six hours ahead of me right here. So I'm gonna do as much as I possibly can in that time. So uh, gonna hit some online classes, update you guys with what I'm doing there. Going to hit a uh, super quick uh, guitar practice and share my progress as usual. Then gonna dive on into the production front, uh, re-listen back to some takes from yesterday on the drum front, or two days ago, see where those are. Uh, in fact, I, I might just wait uh, till Saturday to listen to those, give myself a little more critical distance, honestly. I listened to them a bunch yesterday, I kind of want to wait on that. Uh, so I'm going to move forward with some new sections, uh, working out the drum parts for that. I don't know if I'm going to do any tracking for that today, I'll probably just wait till Saturday and Sunday for that. Um, and then I am going to uh, listen back to the guitar takes I did last night do any edits on those or retracking that needs to be done and then uh, I'm going to start working on some of the effects for the backing vocals and just get this track mostly in like rough mix or better shape um, and then hopefully the only thing left to do will be uh, mixing and drums and just like adding anything in to sweeten the the mix when the, the time comes for that a little bit later like horn parts in the chorus I haven't done any of that but Al this thing's almost done, which is pretty exciting, and it's been a journey, man. I think I started working on this track in like, I don't know, February of this year, so it's been it's been a long, long time of re-altering my workflow, but now that I've got a workflow that's working well, I'm pretty excited to dive into the next couple tracks and hopefully knock those out quickly and make them better than ever, and it's just, it's just gonna be awesome. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in, sorry for the long intro, let's get to work.
All right. Uh, actually, excellent first half of the day here. I was delayed, like I said at the beginning, but got in the zone and just, that's the magic of having a routine. You can just run the process and gradually the mind gets in the groove and then you're, boom, you're there. So, uh, hit the online class front, got a little bit more from the Busy Musician Boot Camp. That was mostly just review of what I've covered in the class already, which is good. Um, then dove into a quick guitar practice, kept that pretty light. Honestly, was struggling to get my riff perfect again, but that's because I was kind of changing my body mechanics a little bit, and if I'm working on that, then it's it's a little harder to focus on the uh, sort of the technical aspects of the, of the playing, but ideally I'll eventually get both and just train myself to always do it the right way. So making progress there, that's good. Took a short break, uh, did some more reading from Mixing Secrets for the small studio. This is my second time through the book. And I love coming back to stuff for a second, third, fourth time. There's just such a different level of understanding that happens that way. And yeah, he's just rehashing like the bad things about cheap ported monitors, uh, studio monitors, so monitors that have ports in them. The expensive ones oftentimes are fine, but the cheaper ones can be really, really bad as far as what they do to your mid-range and what they do to the low end when you're monitoring. So just word to the wise. And... Um, from there, I jumped into the drums and just warmed up and started working on this part for the verse section of the song. And I sort of was making some sketches and working some things out a couple days ago, and most of that stuff came back, which was great. And then I sort of rehashed a couple things that I wanted to, finished the entire section, and then just started with the metronome and slowly worked it up to speed. And what I did is I just tracked a few guide takes so that I wouldn't forget what the part is. And I'll come back, uh, I don't know, at some point in the next few days and get some final takes for that. And I've realized I'm just getting better at separating the learning process from the tracking process. And that's important. I think that's going to be a big weapon for me going forward because I think when I was trying to learn it and track it the same day, I was it was just like really, really energy intensive. And I think I was working harder, not smarter right there. And I think just having a little break so my body can integrate and then coming back with like the freshness will help me get more fresh takes, better energy, better emotion, and just better technical um, results with the take in less amount of time with less emotional drain. So just wrap that up. Going to take a break, have some food, and I'll be back in a few. All right, end of the day here. And I'll be honest and say it would have been great to get more done today, but at the same time, I think it was important to prioritize the work stuff I was mentioning earlier today, and I'm happy that I did that. Took the hit a little bit on the time front for music, uh, but honestly, everything that I did today is going to have to get done at some point anyway, or I guess I should say I want to get it done at some point anyway. It doesn't have to get done, but I wanted to get it done at some point anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference if I do it today versus Saturday versus Monday or something. But having said that, this wasn't like the most intensely focused day, and I like those days, if, if I'm honest. I like that intensity of just like boom, 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 knocking things out, and it's fun. I feel like I've really capitalized on, on that day. So anyway, in the second half of the session, I didn't have a whole ton of time because I took like maybe four or five hours out of my six hours of working just in the first part of the session, and then I just took a break. So. I uh, got into some really good uh, YouTube stuff during my break. There's this Tim Ferriss, Gary V, if you know who either of those guys are, uh, sort of combined interview Q&A thing on, on YouTube, and I was getting some good stuff out of that. Then I just got in and edited, not yesterday's vlog, but the vlog from two days ago, and I'm realizing I'm quite behind on those now, so I wanted to get that done. That's now uploading, fortunately, so now I'll just have yesterday's vlog and today's vlog to edit on Saturday. So um, that's pretty much the session. I'm happy with the progress I made on the drum front. I'm happy with the progress I made in the other aspects of life. And I'm looking forward to diving back deep into the zone in the next couple weeks. I have my final session for that, for that other job I was talking about earlier on Sunday. And it's kind of bittersweet. Like I mentioned before, I've loved working with those folks and at the same time like it's just time for me to go a little bit further a little bit deeper with the music stuff so I'm excited for that and after that it's going to be eight hours a day you know five days a week and then four hours a day one day a week uh, for six days a week 
as long as I can hang in there and just cry and just try to crush it, guys. I just want to knock this album out, and make it amazing. I want it to be just sensational, and I want to just move forward with my video skills and my marketing skills, and just bring this music to people who want it. You know, ah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process, like I always say. That's what I'm out here doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Well, I won't see you tomorrow because it's Friday, but I'll see you on Saturday for more. Can't wait.